everyone, BB here. So I am officially in Springfield. See my sister. I came here last night. Got here last night. We went shopping to Walmart. I bought a lot of stuff. And my sister was like, I thought you were trying to cut back. And I am. I truly am trying to cut back. Like, I have been trying to eliminate pop. Even though that's a very hard process for me. I still drink pop, but I do... It may not seem to look like it, but if you live with, live with me, you would know and understand. But, like, I've been trying to cut back pop, but I grew up on pop. I grew up drinking pop or soda, whatever you want to call it. So I'm used to it. You know, I drink it like water, and I've been trying to cut back on soda or pop, but... You know, it's something where when you're used to drinking it every day, you want to try to drink more water. It's a hard process. It's like trying to lose weight. It's not going to happen in one day. You know, it's going to take some time to lose the weight. You know, so it's going to take me some time to eliminate pop. I mean, I'm cutting back on it, so I'm not drinking as much in a day. One of the many reasons is because of my Invisalign. I've been trying to cut back because... Every time I drink um, anything besides water, and every time I eat, I have to take these out and then brush my teeth. So it's like if I would um, drink pop like every 5, 10, 20, 15 minutes that I used to, um, I would have to be brushing my teeth like every 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 minutes. So I've been trying to eliminate pop. I have been drinking more water lately, but like I said, it's a process, it's going to take time. So, it's funny how I'm holding my phone, my thumb, it's technically in the middle of my s s screen. You just can't see it because I'm on selfie mode and the camera's up on the top, but I am technically, it looks like I'm covering, covering my face right now with my thumb, but I'm really not. You just can't see it because it's on selfie mode, but anyways. Um, my thumb's helping me hold my camera up. So like I mentioned before, I was coming out to see my sister for a few days for Labor Day. Mostly for Labor Day. Um, so I'm leaving Monday. Um, you know, Monday is Sun Sunday? Oh, it's Monday Labor Day. I don't know what day is Labor Day, to be honest. I know it's, like, on the same day every year, like, claim forgiving. But, like, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it's either Sunday or Monday. It is Monday. I'm leaving Monday evening because, um, because, yeah, um, yeah, I'm not going to get back to Chicago until, like, 11.15 at night. <laughs> So, it's going to be a long day on Monday. It was a long day yesterday. You know, it was a long day yesterday. I woke up about 10 o'clock. Uh, finished packing because I had to pack my uh, go bag. And what I mean by go bag is... Here's the thing. Like, my sister is like me. You know, we love scary movies. We love to watch movies. I will admit, practically every movie I have in my movie bag... Um, and that movie bag is not all the movies I have. Like, someone thought, these are the only scary movies you have, or these are the only movies you have. And it's like, to be honest, when it comes to scary, that's pretty much the only scary movies I have is in my bag, my black bag. Um, my black sports bag. That's meant for, like, sports. That's meant for games and volleyball and carry sports stuff around but I don't, I don't play sports does it look like I play sports with these double chins I don't think so the closest I get to playing sports is playing field hockey and that's pretty much dribbling the ball back and forth on a stick you know I used to play field hockey with backs that would whack the ball somewhere he would go well my dog was probably the only dog that didn't know how to play fresh fetch you would throw the stick he would fold the ball, hold the bowl, bowl, and he would go and get it, but he wouldn't bring it back to you. I was like, oh, he's a four-legged rookie. Anyways. 
it's um, but like I keep my movie my scary movies in there I do have a few scary movies on YouTube that I have bought but with a lot of times with movie with movies with t with TV with TVs these days they're smart TVs so a lot of times you can get YouTube off your phone and I can connect it to the TV a lot of times these days so it's pretty pretty cool technology you know given T I've only seen it on like one TV that have not had an Xbox most of the time it's only I've only seen it been able to happen with it you have like an Xbox even though my friend Jennifer that lives in Elgin that's getting married in August and that's the next August not this August is it still August yeah still August um so in about a year from now <laughs> Um, she doesn't have an Xbox, but she has, like, the newer TVs, if you know what I mean. So, like, I can, anyways, I don't know what I'm talking about. So, I'm able to connect my YouTube to my sister's TV. Her TV is probably three years old, maybe four. Her TV is fairly new. Three to four years old It's kind of a new TV, in my opinion. Anyways. Um, so, I got, my favorite movies are in my black bag, my black sports black bag, and I bring them, even though I will admit, my sister's pretty much seen majority of those movies in there, because whenever my sister came home from college, like, whether it was Christmas, or Thanksgiving, or holiday, we would, like, watch movies, um, I've obviously seen every movie in that bag, like, 20-something times, and I'm not exaggerating. If I would pull out a movie right now, I could probably tell you I've seen it so many times. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways. So, I mostly keep my scary movies in there. I might have, like, a couple scary movies that I don't really keep in there, keep in there, but that's because they're not my favorite. I just can't find them at the time. Um... Majority of the movies in my black bag is scary. I do have obviously some other movies at home. Like for example, I have another backpack that has like my, you know, in that backpack is like Safe Haven. It's um, The Notebook, The Heat. Um, what what else is in there right now? Um, there's some other movies in there. You know, so I technically have two movie bags. I'm no, most likely going to be carrying around my scary movie bag. Because one, there's a lot of movies in there. But yeah, I can fit a lot of stuff in there too. Like for example, my purse is in there. Uh, when I travel like on a train or a bus, I carry my purse in there. Um, I carry my tablet, my headphones, my phone charger, my Bluetooth speaker, my medicine, my, my acid reflex medicine. I carry my ibuprofen. I would put like my train ticket in there, even though I can kind of fold it up and put it in a DVD to kind of keep it safe from crinkling up. Um, I could put a lot of stuff in that bag, to be honest. You know, I, I use my pillow to hold that bag. Uh, I use my pillow to hold that bag. I use that bag to hold my pillow. I can fit a lot of small stuff in there. I can't put anything like too big or too bulky in there, but. To be honest, when I travel, I like it because it can fit a lot of stuff in there. So my movies actually really kind of don't take up that much room. <laughs> um, and you all know, I don't have every single scary movie on DVD. You know, for example, I have the movie It. I have the movie Butcher Boys. I have the movie 407, Apartment 407. I have the movie 10 by 10. I have the movie, um, what else do I have on Netflix? Netflix, YouTube. Um, the Intruder. The Intruder with Dennis Quaid. Um, so there's a few movies that I don't have on DVD, but I have on YouTube. That maybe one day I'll get them on DVD if I can find them for a cheap price. But I obviously know, like, any person that loves scary movies, I don't have every single scary movie. I would love to. 
have every single scary movie I have, but I've had, I mean, I, in my opinion, I have a pretty good collection. I mean, it's not the biggest collection. I mean, obviously, you know, you watch some of the collections on YouTube, like you type in YouTube, like scary movie collection, and I thought I had a big collection until I Googled it, and I was like, yeah, I don't even make a dent. Some of those people's collections, let's just say they must have a lot of money because DVDs aren't cheap. I mean, they can be. To be honest, they can be. Like, if you want, like, a lot of good options for scary movies um, and you're looking to buy, I would highly recommend FYE. I've gotten a few of my scary movies from there. For example, I bought, like, five scary movies from there one time and it was, like, 20 bucks maybe so you could get like five scary movies for a very cheap price you know um let alone some of these people that collect scary movies and show their collection on youtube have blu-ray and it's like okay well i can maybe see regular dvd but blu-ray really you, you i would love to be that person <laughs> and they keep it in alphabetical order i'm like okay one you know they have a lot when they have a separate room for the DVDs. Well, alone they put it in an alphabetical order. It's like, yeah, I, I don't have that many. I wish I did, but I don't have that much money. Um, if you're looking to rent a cheap, scary movie, I recommend Family Video. Um, but yeah, I probably I have some pretty good scary movies. I'm. Like I said, I don't have every scary movie. Have I seen every single scary movie there is on this planet? Obviously not. I don't want to say that's impossible, but that would be pretty hard. Um, as you guys know, I'm a typical kind of classic scary movie gal. I like the person with the knife that chases around another person in the house, I would say. I like the guy that chases around the women in the house, but I don't want to be sexist because women can be killers too, like an ice pick. Even though I have not seen that. And the only reason why I know that there was a killer female in ice pick is from Scream. From Wendy. <coughs> That's the only reason why I know that the killer in ice pick was a female. And I guess Scream 2 and Scream 4, there was a killer female. I mean, Joe and um, Mrs. Loomis. But anyways. Um, so I don't want to say I like the typical movie where the guy chases around a gal with the knife. You know, I kind of do like those movies because they're typical, they're classic. But yet, these days, you never know who can be the killer. It could be a female, it could be the grandpa, it could be the dog, it could be the neighbor, it could be the nanny, it could be the person that cuts the grass, it could be the person that sold you the house. And that person doesn't want to leave the house. You know what I mean? The intruder, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Anyways, um, I kind of try to stick to the classics. As I told you before, I don't like ghosts. I don't like paranormal activity stuff. I don't like the movies, and I don't like the real life stuff. Because that stuff is possibly real. I'm not trying to say it is real, but I'm not trying to say it's fake. The only movies I've already seen that's like paranormal slash ghostly spirits is The Conjuring movies. My favorite one is probably the second one by like a hair. The first one is good, but the second one probably wins in my opinion, and I like the second one about this much more. Um... So I've seen The Conjurings. Can't wait for the new one to come out. Excuse me. I've seen a few Annabelles. Um, and the only reason why I saw the Annabelle movies was because they're related to The Conjuring. You know, I saw The Nun. That was creepy. But again, I only saw it because it was related to The Conjuring. You know, I saw the uh, Insidious movies. I actually have... Technically two, because I have one on Netflix, and I bought one on YouTube. Um, so I've seen the Insidious movies. Like, those movies aren't 
bad. Like, I've seen them just because my family were, like, my cousins were sitting around the TV watching them. Oh, I got, it was like something on Netflix that said, hey, you know, The Conjuring, for example. And the first time I saw The Conjuring was actually on Netflix. So, and I was home alone when I watched it. I was home alone when I watched both. I was home alone when I watched The Conjuring. And I was home alone when I watched The Conjuring 2. I mean, I was technically with my dog Baxter, but he was sleeping. Sound asleep. And let me tell you something. In The Conjuring 2, that part with the nun. Ooh, girl. Let me tell you something. I've never had goosebumps like that before. It didn't scare me, but it freaked and creeped me out. I had goosebumps all over my arm. The hairs on my neck were standing up. You could see the gray hair in my head appearing. You could see the white hair on my arms. I had goosebumps in places I've never had goosebumps before. Those movies, scary movies don't particularly scare me, scare me. Like, I've never jumped, I've never screamed, I've never flinched. There's been times, like, where I've jumped or flinched, like, not jumped, but, like, I've flinched. Or, like, ooh, or some, something like that because I wasn't paying attention in the movie. Like, I was talking on my phone. I was, like, watching Baxter or playing with Baxter or something. So, I wasn't paying attention. So, I'll admit, there was, like, a few times that I got scared because I, like, wasn't paying attention. But, for the most part, scary movies don't scare me. Like, for example, me, my girl, my two girlfriends, Wendy and Letty, went to go see Annabelle Comes Home the day it came out. And, it's, I know, where we sat sucked. So, the movie was booked. The movie theater was packed. One, it was my first time seeing a scary movie at an IMAX. At a, at a big screen, jumbo screen. I've never seen a scary movie at a jumbo screen. The closest I probably came to seeing a scary movie at a jumbo screen was probably Pirates of the Caribbean. And I wouldn't even consider that scary. Um... Maybe, like, not, chron Narnia, like, Chronicles of Narnia. Anyways, not that those are particularly scary, scary, but. So we go to the big, big screen, and we're like, okay, how bad can it be? It's the big screen. It's a good movie. You know, Annabelle's our good movie, so let's go see it. The movie theater was packed. There was only three seats left, and there were three, three of us. So we're like, okay, well, it's either we pick these seats. Or we wait like an hour, an hour and a half for the next movie, but yet we get out at like 2 in the morning. I personally didn't care what movie we went to go see. I would have preferred probably the hour and a half one because then we would have had more seat options, if you know what I mean. But it was their option. It was, you know, they were driving me. So I was like, you know, you guys pick what you want. Um, you. We sat. The second row from the screen, so you look at the screen at the IMAX, and you're probably like this, you're like, whoa, IMAX, so high, so tall, so big, so long. We were second row, all the way to the left. So the whole time we were like sitting like this, watching the movie, looking up, watching a scary freaking movie. Now again, I didn't get scared. I don't get scared. I don't scream. I don't jump. I don't punch people, even though my friend used me as a punching bag. <laughs> Especially when we went to go see it. I think that's the most times I've ever been punched in my whole entire life. I literally had a bruise on my arm. I know she didn't mean to do it because she got scared and she told me she was going to do it. But, dude, it was like a high school fight all over again. <laughs> um, but, like, yeah, my friend Letty and... Wendy got scared, and then like a couple days later, I took my cousin and my sister, and <laughs> I swear my sister and my cousin, they were practically jumping out of their seats. They were getting so scared and screaming, and it was funny because when my sister watched scary movies, it's always funny because the way she screams and reacts, and I always laugh, and she's like, it's not funny, and it's like, I know it's not funny, but your reaction is funny, you know? So... 
but I didn't, I don't get scared, to be honest. I, I don't want to say they don't freak me out or creep me out. It's like, okay, it's creepy, really creepy. Or like, it's like, ooh, girl, ooh, girl, don't go in there, don't go in there, don't close that mirror. You're in the bathroom, you know what happens when you close mirrors, or you open the, Oh, you open the door and you close the door and the guy and the person's be dude, dude. But um, but yeah. So tomorrow, me and my sister, we're gonna go see a movie. We're gonna go see two movies. We're gonna go see Olympus Has Fallen, and we're gonna go see Ready or Not. Ready or Not is my pick. Olympus. Olympus Has Fallen is my sister's pick, even though I did tell her I wanted to see it anyways. So, regardless of if I went to go see it with my sister or not, I was going to go see it at the movies anyways. So, she's like, how about we go to two movies? And it's like, hey, I want to go to one, but if you want to go to two, that's even better. Let's do it. Yee! I cannot wait for tomorrow night. Stella, if you're watching this, it's going to be so fun. Oh, it was fun. Um, we picked our candy, we're gonna get popcorn, we're gonna get soda, I don't know, I don't know if we're gonna eat, beef. I don't know, I kinda want popcorn, even though, I'm gonna have to see. So we're gonna go to two movies tomorrow night, we're gonna go see Olympus Has Fallen, with Gerard Butler, and Ready or Not, cause it looked good, they both look good, I've seen, Oli uh, Olympus has fallen, and I've seen London has fallen, and this new one I haven't seen yet. So, yep. And then tonight we're gonna watch a movie. We're gonna watch. My sister hasn't seen the movie Running Out of Time yet, and she said she wanted to see it. So we're gonna watch that tonight. So then after we watch movies, my sister wants to watch Wentworth because she hasn't seen the last season of Wentworth. She wants to watch it with me, even though I've seen it. So, Xbox is turned off. So that's pretty much what's going to happen in the next couple of days. She did say she wants to go shopping a little bit, like to Bath and Body Works and Yankee. And I told her, hey, I said, I'm, in, I'm willing to do whatever you want to do, Stella. If you want to go horseback riding, I'll go horseback riding. Even though I don't know if there's any places around here that does that. Springfield doesn't particularly appear to me to be that kind of place, but you never know. You know, I told her, if you want to go goat cart, we can go goat cart. If you want to go laser tag, we can go laser tag. If you just want to sit at home and watch Netflix, move, Netflix movies all weekend, we can do that too. So your weekend and spend with me. I do what you want, Stella. Okay? Okay? Okay. Even though she's always like, you can do whatever you want. I was like, mm -hmm. well. So, yeah. So I'm going to let y'all go. So I got to change the controllers in the Xbox. And finish up my candy crush. And light a candle. So. See y'all later. BB out.